this video we will be uh, well not we because it's just me you guys are just watching uh, I'll be uh, unseizing the uh, air conditioning also called AC uh, compressor or pump from the uh, 69 Cadillac Eldorado there's our girls right there and what I've done so far is um, I know the manual says you need some fancy uh, wrench, thin wall, whatever, it's fucking bullshit. Um, just choose the uh, 9 16th. This is the thinner wall, right? But it's nothing special, just to use the six point, guys. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. It's six sides, right? You use the 12, the ones with 12. It can, you know, it's easier to, um, uh, you know, strip the, uh, the head of the, uh, make it round, right? Anyways, I removed that, and I've used, I've been using the, uh, some chisels to get into this, this plate here. I believe this is called the clutch plate. Uh, it is moving. But there's the rubber in between, so the plate itself is moving, but not the uh, this part here. It's not coming out. It is turning at this point, as you can see, which suggests that the inside of the compressor is good. I tried to use a pulley puller here, but the walls of the uh, the wall of it's a V groove here on this pulley, right? So the uh, it actually slips out. I wish I had like something, like sort of like a big C, like a hose clamp that went all around here and held these, these uh, held these tight. Uh, I could try, you know, tightening the uh, the bolts here so that it, it doesn't move out as easily. And that might work, but. Yeah, the clutch, this plate here is all squashed up now. But let's, let's, I mean, it's, it would have to be replaced anyways, because look, it's just fucking breaking off, so. But, uh, we'll see how it goes. But anyways, now I see there's a, a washer in there. Uh, so I'll just flip it over, and I think there might be like a uh, fucking, um, washer yeah, what, what the fuck is it called oh, I don't even know I forgot the name of that thing because I I don't really like it I fucking hate it actually. That's kind of inside and some of these parts here, but I'm thinking 
see that now. If I create some space here. There's a bolt, right? So it's a bit sticking out like that. Yeah. This part of the pulley puller here, it'll like slip to the side, and so that'll keep it set. Not ideal, I'm sure, but. WD-40. Chisels came off, but the uh, WD-40 being the, uh, one of the inventions of the century, that's just fucking bullshit. There's something is addressed to the point where, you know, you need a lot of WD-40, you know, it's just, it's got to be replaced, not much. too big.
washing the rubber, it's not coming out, I don't think. Anyways. By the way guys, it's a hero cut, a 45i plasma cutter, it's been outside in the rain, and the snow, and this heat, and the dust, it's been used in max, you know, maximum average for I don't know how long. But so far it's been working great. looking goggles huh? Hasta la vista First of all I'm gonna try to move those rivets there
total. We should get some water. I don't want to ruin the internals, though, because they're certainly all pretty good still. Very often, and come out, come out in pieces or in pieces. Get some water. air pressure down. Amperage down a little bit as well. Let's see if I can melt that piece off. Careful not to damage you know, the uh, cap.
Jeremy in there. I want to ruin that. Pry bar.
pressuring inside me. 